Hello and welcome to another JavaScript tutorial. Um, in this tutorial we're going to look at something called JSON. Um, and JSON stands for uh, JavaScript Object Notation and it's basically a lightweight data interchange format. So it uses um, JavaScript syntax um, but it's in text format so it can be um, read and used as data by any other programming language so we can um, it, it works kind of like um, how we've been looking at arrays we can store um, different items in an array we can store different names or phone numbers in, a, in an array but with um, uh, JSON objects we can uh, store different records and use keys for those records so things like first name last name phone number um, so we can use um, a key to store different values in um, records. So firstly in the body section of um, my HTML document here I'm going to make a heading and I'm going to create um, I'm going to create an object which will have an array of um, records and those records will be the names of Avengers characters. So I'm going to make a heading called the Avengers. And I'm not going to put all the characters in but um, I'll put a few in and then I'm going to make a paragraph with an ID of um, Avengers uh, text. Okay, so I'm going to create an Avengers object and then I'm going to um, basically um, grab records and put them into paragraphs. So I'll close off that paragraph. Oops. So it's just an empty paragraph at the moment. There's nothing in it. And then I'm going to add a script section as well. So all of my JavaScript or um, JSON is going to go inside this section. So first thing, I'm going to make a variable called text. And that this is where I'm going to actually define the object. All right. So it's going to be an Avengers object with an array of character records. So characters from... Uh, the Avengers. So I'm going to put this inside um, a single quotation mark and then I'm going to grab a curly brace and the first thing that I will do is give this object a name. So Avengers, <laughs> just in lowercase, be creative. And then I'm just going to move that, that down a little bit. And then I'm going to add a colon and create an array here and inside a single quotation mark at a plus sign All right. and then on uh, the next line down so just make a, make a new line actually what I'll do is just uh, clean this up a little bit so make sure that all of the uh, braces or brackets are actually closed off um, and that that single quotation mark is out. Okay, so I have uh, started with a open brace, got closed brace there, and open um, bracket, square bracket, and closed square bracket there. Okay, so first thing I'm going to uh, I'm going to add a new record. So inside uh, these curly braces, I'm going to put first name all right so first name and then uh, so that'll be inside quotation marks and then colon and then inside quotation marks I'm going to add the actual name so first one will be Bruce all right and then I'm going to separate that with a comma and then I'll add last name and another colon and we'll put banner Okay, so first name and then last name and then we'll close that off. Okay, so this is our first record and we have a key of first name, then we actually have the actual first name and then we have a key of last name and the actual last name. And then we'll add a plus so that we can add a, another record on the next line. And what I might do to make this a little bit easier is I'll just copy that line and paste it a few times. 
and um, then I'll just I'll get rid of that. So I'm going to have four different characters in here, and I'll just make sure that that looks right. So, oops, I think we can actually get rid of a few things here. So I forgot to put in a comma. So make sure that you put in a comma there and then the single quotation mark plus, and then I need to do the same thing here. Okay. Um, that looks right. Okay. There we go. That's all fixed up and then end that with a semicolon. Okay. So, just checking that the syntax is okay because I messed up a few things there, but that looks right. Okay, so I've got Bruce Banner. Now I'm going to add Tony Stark. And I might add um, Natalia or Natasha. Rumanova, I think it is. Or Ruminov. And um, we'll add Thor as well. Thor Odinson. Okay, so I've got um, a few different characters here from the Avengers. I won't bother putting all of them. Um, and we've got their first names and then we've got their last names. Okay, so that all looks okay there. Then I'm going to say object, OBJ, equals JSON dot pass text and then on the next line I'm going to say document dot get element by ID so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this paragraph by its ID and I'm going to actually be um, taking records from this uh, object here so from the array of records and that object there and I'm going to um, put them into the paragraph. So I need to refer to the ID, which was Avengers text. So just up here we have a paragraph with an ID of Avengers text. So I'm going to use get element by ID method to grab that. And then dot in a HTML equals. All right, so document dot get element by ID. Avengers text um, and then dot in a HTML might just stick with the double there we go double uh, quotation marks and then obj dot Avengers that's the name here of this um, array of or this object with um, the array of records so object dot Avengers and then to grab the first record I'm going to use its index of zero dot first name plus and then I might add a space there just just to add a space between the first name and the last name plus obj dot um, Avengers zero again dot last name all right and then we'll end end off that script tag there so um, this really can be on one line but um, just uh, sort of it's going to carry across onto two lines anyway so um, yeah <laughs> so we can save that and now we can open that in the browser and that's what we got so we got the uh, heading of the Avengers and we've got the first character, which is Bruce Banner. So uh, basically I've created here, I've defined the Avengers object with an array of character records. And so there's a different character in each record and I, for each record I have their first name and last name. I could go on and add other things as well, like their superhero name and that kind of thing. But I've just got their first name and last name. And then down here, I grab uh, I grab these records and then I put it into the Avengers paragraph. So I'm just grabbing one record and I'm referring to it using the array index. So if I change zero to one for both the first name and the last name, then it should display the second character now, which is Tony Stark. 
and it does. Okay. So, and I can change that to two and it should uh, show the next character, Natalia. Okay. So we can use JSON um, in a number of different ways, but basically that is how to set up or define an object with an array of records. And then we've um, put that into a variable um, that we can use. So we can actually um, add the first name and the last name together and put it into a paragraph and display it on the web page. So we could then go and sort of add a format that a little bit better. We could add um, new lines. We can put all the characters on different lines. We can maybe add an image for each character and uh, all of that. So that's basically how to um, get started with JSON and we'll look at that um, a little bit more in further tutorials. Thanks for watching.